in gastrointestinal stromal um, tumors or GIS, um, two drugs um, are, uh, have, have shown a lot of promise. So the first drug is um, repretinib, which in a, in a phase three trial um, for, compared to placebo in the uh, fourth um, uh, line setting and beyond showed a uh, significant benefit in um, progression-free survival, um, um, which is likely to result in the approval of, of, of this drug. And the drug is also very, very well tolerated. So that's a, um, a, a really promising um, result that is due to be published um, uh, very soon. The second um, drug is also in um, GIST and is a drug called um, avapritinib. And this has um, shown um, um, very high response rates in uh, patients with a subtype of GIST that is um, resist, a molecular subtype of GIST that is resistant to um, um, uh, other tyrosine kinase inhibitors. And um, earlier on this year, the FDA approved this drug um, in um, patients with GIST harboring um, uh, the uh, PDGFR alpha D842V mutation. So that's fantastic news for uh, for our patients, um, where um, an effective um, treatment option is now available um, for that particular um, disease. And then the third um, um, drug um, is uh, uh, a drug called tazemetostat, which um, is an easy H2 inhibitor. And um, um, a, a very rare form of um, sarcomas uh, called epithelioid sarcoma, um, uh, which is probably less than 1% of all um, sarcomas, uh, is characterized by um, uh, loss of iron I1. And this can lead to oncogenic dependency on um, EZH2. And therefore, there's a rationale for using um, EZH2 inhibitors in um, epithelioid sarcoma. And um, uh, taser metastats has shown um, uh, activity, single agent activity um, in um, epithelioid sarcoma with, again, very good tolerability. And uh, this has led to the approval of uh, this agent for uh, specifically for epithelioid sarcoma. So again, really good news for um, uh, patients that um, there are these new um, exciting drugs being approved.